Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. You know, in previous episodes, we had talked about this concept of building a training and development workshop and what would be the competencies, the skills that you would want as part of those breakout sessions that you would have in your training and development workshop. And, and we talked about those. And of course, action plans were in that as part of those core competencies. And we just had a series on action plans and we talked about SWOT analysis. Today, I'd like to talk about this concept of the leadership roles and responsibilities that you would have as a leader inside an organization. And that would be an important discussion topic uh, of that workshop. I think there are four key elements that become part of your role and responsibility as a leader. The first one would be being a good communicator. Now, you know, we talk a lot about communication. I talk a lot about communication. To me, I don't think you never talk enough about communication because your communication has to be succinct, appropriate, and it has to be one that people understand and walk away. There's a big difference between communicating and educating, right? Communication, we do a good job sometimes of communicating, but we don't do a good job of educating. What's the difference? Education has accountability. Right? If you think about it, I go to school, I'm in a class, teacher goes through, you know, American history and tells me all about George Washington. That's communication. Education is when I take the test. That's accountability then. It's the same inside of business. Organizations have great communication plans. There's banner, there's posters all over the place. They, they're they well done. However, you know, accountability is, and education is, do I understand it and am I tested? So I think always being a good communicator is one of those. Second is accountability owner. Do I hold myself and my people accountable? Am I being held accountable through of, of the communication I receive because I'm being tested? Do people ask me, do I understand what my role and responsibility is? Do I understand why we're doing the things that we're doing? So accountability is more than just holding people accountable for desired result. It's also personal accountability and learning and development as well. So, so, I think the first one would be being a good communicator. The second is the accountability owner. The third is a skills developer. Am I developing my skills and the skills of my people? Do, are my people better because of their time with me as their leader? If Are people better because they're in our organization? Are we out there trying to develop the best, the brightest, the most informed, the best educated people in the industry? That's what we're trying to accomplish as an organization. And that's what we would accomplish by being a skills developer. And finally, are we, a, you know, am I a customer focused service provider for my organization? So do I understand the value of the internal customer, the, my peers that I work with inside our organization, as well as my customers outside of my organization, right? There's two customers. There's the internal customer and the external customer. They're both equal. Now we always focus on the external customer, rightfully so, to drive revenue, but our internal customers are important. How do we work among each other? How do we respect each other? How do we have integrity of our word that when we say we're going to do something, one of our peers, we do? That's customer focused. And that's what I have to be, a customer focused service provider for not only the internal customers, but the external customers and vice versa. So those, I think, are the four skills that need to be in this discussion outline this, this DO discussion outline that we use in our training development workshop, good communicator, accountability owner, customer service focused individual and a skills developer. We're going to run a four series again, talking about each one of those going forward with the first one being a good communicator. Once again, thanks for joining us. And, and I hope you hang in there with us as we discuss the leadership roles and responsibilities as part of our training and development workshop. Thank you. Be safe and have a great day. 
Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. And until next episode, remember, the speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack.